Hello, 8th grade Earth Science students. Today is the first day of exam review. In a normal environment where we'd be in the classroom together, I'd give about a week, maybe a week and a half's worth of exam review. But exams are going to be a little bit different this year since we can't be together. And I'm going to have to mix things up a little bit. What we're probably going to be doing is we're going to be taking exam of course over all the chapters we covered in the second semester but there's going to be different questions than what was on your test well why would i do that because if everything's open book then you could just copy everything on your test and you get a hundred you wouldn't even have to think and i want you to think i want you to be using your brain even while we are apart so that's why i'm doing um, it this way I have linked this PowerPoint on Chapter 8 in the description of this video. So all you have to do is look below this video in the description, and it's going to show you this PowerPoint. If you copy and paste it into the browser, you can have access to the PowerPoint, and you can study um, this kind of stuff. I'm going to go over maybe five minutes worth of general review. Uh, with you over this chapter. You don't even have to continue watching this video if you just want to study by yourself. But I'm going to just generally debrief you on what happened in chapter 8 of Earth Science in the weather chapter and kind of what you should be looking at and what you need to know. Well, let's begin our five-minute look into chapter 8, a summary. Um, you have weather, the state of the Earth's atmosphere, climate, the year-round, um, typical weather, and meteorology, the study of weather. What forms weather? Um, you have heat energy, uneven heat distribution, and water vapor causes uh, weather. Precipitation is water that falls to the Earth. Sometimes air is full or humid and saturated with water. Uh, sometimes it's not, and the relative humidity is very low. Um, it's going to feel a little bit cooler when the air doesn't hold so much water vapor, because water vapor um, is a gas which will make it feel warmer. You have um, a couple different state changes. You have deposition, which is where uh, water skips uh, the liquid stage and forms a crystal from a vapor, and the opposite is sublimation, where you have a crystal become a, becoming a vapor. You also have various terms like melting and freezing and evaporation and condensation that you need to remember. As far as clouds go, there's lots of different clouds. We already talked about these. You probably um, will remember most of these, you have cumulus, which are the heap clouds, cumulonimbus, which are the storm clouds, stratus, which are the uh, flat layer of um, heavy-looking clouds, stratocumulus, the extended heaps. These are very frequently found here in Florida. Nimbostratus is the extended cloud, which is a, um, which is a very thick layer blocking out the view of the sun. Altocumulus is like cumulus, except in the, in the uh, higher levels of the atmosphere. Altostratus is um, high and extended, a sheet-like, except high, high in the earth. You have cirrus, the curl of hair. Cirrocumulus, which is um, like mackerel sky. It looks like uh, fish scales way up in the sky. Cirrostratus, which are extended curls way up in the sky. Lenticular, which forms around a mountain, looks kind of like a UFO. And contrails, which are formed by um, airplanes, especially when there's a lot of water vapor. Not to mention that fog is a ground cloud. And there's lots of different kinds of fogs. Evaporation, precipitation, or evaporation, condensation, precipitation, uh, sounds like the water cycle. Um, the continual movement of water on the Earth. Um, it moves 14.6 trillion tons of water. Water can come in many forms when it falls to the Earth, from a drizzle to freezing rain, 
to sleet to snow, many different kinds of snow. I mean, you can have anything from a little flurry, which um, is nothing to worry about, to a whiteout where one cannot even distinguish the ground from the sky. Sometimes there's not a lot of precipitation and a drought occurs, and there's lots of different types of droughts from agricultural to socioeconomic where everyone's lives are ruined because of the drought. And lastly, you have air masses from tropical to polar to continental to maritime and uh, various different types of front from the warm front to the cold front to the stationary front to the occluded front. Well, I hope you enjoyed this five or so minute review of chapter eight. Please study on your own today and uh, make sure that you look over these terms. Have a great day and make sure you're ready for your exams coming up.